<laughs> Welcome back to you and me and her. Um, last time Miyuki broke the fourth wall, and our load screen is, um, you know. Thirty-seven point five degrees. That's a fever, all right. Her face is already completely haggard. She's been sick a lot lately, but to think it would get this bad on the day of the performance. She rides on the sofa, her hairpin clutch in her hand. Just get some sleep. It's my birthday next week, you know. And you've been sick a lot lately. You gotta make a full recovery by then, you hear me? That's right. And I won't be very happy if you don't get better. So you need to rest up and recover. Of course! <laughs> Oi purses her lips and hesitates for a moment. <clears throat> I'm staying here. Nah, she dropped out of the lead role. Her voice is unusually firm, and I fall silent. You sure you can fall asleep without me here? No playing with Eero, you hear? Mm. I don't feel great about this, but I know how stubborn she can be about this stuff. I do owe Miyuki for getting us the tickets, so I guess I ought to go give in and go see the play. Alright, I'll be back later. <laughs> Just then, Aoi sits upright on the sofa. <laughs> Uh, not sure you ever told me. May 23rd. So you were born before me, huh? What's a code number? I assume this is just another of Aoi's verbal tics. And yet her expression is steely. I'm gonna write this down. Bring you back from where? No, hang on. Where are you going? I don't know. I don't know. But... I don't know. おぼえるの。頭に九九の九九九をつけて誕生日のゼロ五二三を二回九九九ゼロ五二三ゼロ五二三。それが青いのコールナンバーなの。First dial 999, then punch in Aoi's birthday twice. I repeat it over and over in my mind. Aoi no tanjobi. Oboe te tara. Was zetai. Kyoka. Ste hoshino. Of course. Zetai. Onegai nano. Okay, I promise. Not sure where the heck that came from. Maybe I should write this number down somewhere. Right. Thanks. Her face is flushed bright red. No one's ever said that to me before. Part of me is thrilled. And yet, somehow, something seems off about her. Uh, 
As I'm putting on my shoes by the front door, I hear the jingle of a bell, and next thing I know, Eru is standing in my path. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, settle down, furball. What, you don't want me to go, is that it? Just relax. I'm not a bad any Aoi or anything, okay? <laughs> Eru ignores me. The little guy is completely pissed. Normally, he's so well-behaved, too. I want to stay with Aoi. Plus, if, you're, if your cat puts up a sign like that, you should take it as a sign. Maybe. Eru is a transceiver cat. Aoi told me all about his supposed powers of precognition. Precognition. I know I should probably take it all with a grain of salt. But at the same time, Eru was the one who helped me find her on the school roof that night. I check the time on my phone. 30 minutes until the show starts. I feel bad for suspecting her, but admittedly, something has been bothering me about her behavior lately. <coughs> Fine. My instinct compels me to take action. And so I decide to hide in the bushes and wait. Fact of the matter is, Aoi hasn't been acting like herself the past few days. Her sparkle is completely gone. She just sort of survives each day from one moment to the next. I had assumed she was physically as sick, but... Huh? The sound of the door opening makes me flinch. <laughs> Aoi steps outside, her face still flushed. I told her to stay home and get some rest. But here she is, breaking our promise. She gazes down at the kitty hairpin in her hand. <laughs> As she whispers, she staggers into the street in a feverish haze. Ugh. I can still hear Aoi's pained plea ringing in my ears. Biting my lip, I come to a decision. I can't overlook this little excursion. We need to follow her. I climb out of the bushes and follow her. She stumbles along like she's walking on clouds. Almost as though she's following an invisible signal. Then she steps off the road to the school and heads inside the corner store. She's just going shopping, right? She must have run out of cold medicine. Or maybe Arrow needs more milk. Or that's it, maybe she randomly needed to use the restroom. Or maybe she's just jonesing for a yabblies. Or, or... He's my friend. The words sound painfully fake, even to me. My chest feels a suppressed anger and unbearable guilt. I remember her begging me. But what does she mean by that? Would she really go that far to deceive me? The automatic door slide open with a familiar corner store chime. Oh. It's Haru-chan. I forgot she works here, too. Instantly, my misgivings melt away. Oh, I just came to see her. She's not here for Yutaro at all. She isn't cheating on me. Haru-chan. Hayaku. Hi. I laugh to myself as I watch them go. But where? Where are they going? <laughs> I want to know. Follow them. Follow them, Shinichi. I hurry down the road beneath the red rays of the sunset. If I run, I can still make it in time for the play. Admittedly, I took a hell of a detour, but at least I resolved that misunderstanding. Man, I'm so ashamed of myself for you ever doubting Aoi or Yutaro. Of course, I'd still like to know why Aoi left the house. Especially since she did it behind my back. I'm sure there's gotta be a good reason for it, right? Haru-chan's in the theater club. I can't rule out the possibility that the two of them are working on some kind of birthday surprise for me. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see anything. I hand in my ticket and go to head into the dark gymnasium. The play has yet to start, but most of the seats are full. All that's left is to wait for the curtain to rise. 
Yeah, I know. Something came up. If Miyuki's in on the surprise, then I probably shouldn't cop to what I just saw. She's feeling sick today. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Miyuki's expression stiffens, but I wipe away her concern. Just a minor fever. You know how she's been under the weather lately. Her phone's always out of service, though. Seriously, you don't need to worry about... The look in her eyes is dead serious. Weird, why is she so insistent about this? Oh well, it's just one measly phone call, I guess. As requested, I take out my cell phone. Uh, is this part of the birthday surprise? Confused, I call my empty house. I know I always not there right now, so no one's going to answer. After a handful of rings, I end the call. She wasn't doing too well when I last saw her, so she's probably... Miyuki? I look over to find Miyuki on her phone, too. Finish your call? She's probably just sound asleep. What are you talking about? Without another word, Miyuki strides off towards the exit. Wait, what about the play? But you went to the trouble of getting me these tickets. My. Jealous side? We walk silently down the dark world. Miyuki abandoned the performance just to drag me out here. She's so deadly serious, I don't even feel right making a casual joke. Something tells me there isn't a birthday surprise after all. We head back down the road I took to get here. Then finally, we arrive. At Yutaro's family corner store. Maybe Miyuki has the same misconception about Yutaro and Aoi. If so, I should probably go ahead and explain everything. Listen, uh, to tell you the truth, I stopped by here on my way to the performance just now. I was supposed to be laid up with a fever, but I saw her stumbling out of the house. I thought maybe she was cheating on me. But this is all just a misunderstanding. You know Haru-chan girl in your club? She... Yeah? Wait. I don't get it. What's wrong with how I hanging out with Haru-chan? Wait. Did you just say... He... Just then, the automatic doors slide open. Yutaro dashes outside and drops to his knees. Whoa! Whoa what's going on? What's going on with your brother? I don't get... Wait, Haru is Ryujiro? Well, that explains a lot, actually. Ryujiro is Yutaro's younger brother. Yutaro's been agonizing over him for days, and now Miyuki claims he and Haru-chan are actually the same person? So she never abandoned that earlier mission. But Haru-chan doesn't look like a guy at all! Oh, right. Yutaro's told me the time and time again about Ryujiro's dangerous good looks. And if I think about it, it does explain some things. Yeah, I don't look like a guy at all either, huh? <laughs> like why she was wearing a guy's work uniform at the corner store. Wait, but Haru-chan was wearing a girl's uniform at school. Ugh. He was wearing a girl's uniform when we first met, so I must have just assumed. Come to think of it, that would explain why she was flustered enough to hide in the prop closet. After all, I'd probably do the same if my brother's friend walked in on me cross-dressing. But isn't his name Yujiro? Why would he go by Haru? Haru Akebono. Of course, in Spring It Is The Dawn, that famous quote by Sei Shonagon or whatever. 
ハルちゃんはつまり葵はあなたとのデートの約束を保護にしてまで別の男と外出したミュキー thrusts a cold hard reality on my face pointless as it is I still try to stick my head in the sand maybe they're working on a birthday surprise for me you know some fun little Yucharo chokes the words out. Dijiro ni Kanojo ga dekita ra shi te hashi. Kangai te mitara, Muko ga nise ni kao miseri yo nata no, chodo sono koro kara de. Saki wa yoku ishto ni gai shitu shite ta. I was often seen visiting catnip with a friend. Dijiro mo game ni kuashi kara, kekko hanashi ga hazu de. That doesn't mean they're cheating. Shinichi, shikari shite. Miyuki? Aoi wa, uso o tsuite, Shinichi to no date no yakusoku o yabutte, de uwaki shita te kimatta wake jya nai wa? Cheating. My sight goes fuzzy. Maybe the rumors are right. She tricked me, betrayed me, and now she's with another guy. Aoi wo, zenbu, shinji te hoshii no. I don't think so. This... This can't be real. Blinded by despair, Miyuki's voice is the only one, one guiding light left in my darkness. Clinging to that faint hope, I walk down the road. Ryujiro is not in the same way. I'm just in the same way. I'm just in the same way. I'm just in the same way. The hallway is quiet and devoid of life, save for us. We creep down the hall, careful not to make a sound. Then Yutaro stops in front of a door. Apartment 804. The door key dangles from his finger. Shinichi, you can hear me. Now, you can stop here. But if you want to go ahead, you can go ahead. I wanted to believe in Aoi. Her words, her tears. Hell, I'm still desperate to believe her right now. But Miyuki's right. I'm a jealous guy. I refuse to let the woman I love cheat on me with someone else. I take the key from Yutaro. It's cold and heavy and digs into my skin. My hand shakes. But there's no turning back now. No matter what waits for me beyond this door, whether or not I can accept the reality I find there, pinning all my hopes and fears on the key, I stuff it into the lock. Slowly, quietly, I turn the key. <laughs> Slowly, quietly, the lock slides free. Taidama! He walks silently into the apartment. The faintest shuffle of our footsteps sounds deafening. I hold my breath, clutch my chest, and let my feet carry me forward. Uh, the apartment is empty. With all the high end furnishings, I can't possibly believe. Imagine an older, ordinary high schooler living here. Whoops. But either way, no one is here. ポテアラにもいない。お風呂場にも来てる。いいえ、来てるわ。お風呂場はまだ濡れてる。蛇口をひねったら水は冷め切ってなかったわ。リュウジロ。青いと一緒にコンビニを出た。そしてその後、この部
Whatever's in there, it's enough to make her legs give out, apparently. I feel my vision grow fuzzy. If only I could just pass out instead. Shinji. Go ahead. With Miyuki in my arms, my hands are a little full. In my stead, Yutaro slowly approaches the trash can. Oh. He groans. What is it? What's in there? Hey, Yutaro, tell me what's in there. The word hits me like a punch to the gut. This is the nail in the coffin, the final blow that makes my sight dim. The pain in my foot feels distant, like it's, it's happening in some other world. With her composure restored, this time Yuki wraps her arms around me. Oh, I was definitely here. I slowly reached down to grab the thing I stepped on. My fingers are numb and trembling. I can barely even pick it up. Aoi is cheating on me. What? Lying on the floor is a ki kitty hair. Yeah. What? Aoi smiles brightly at me. What do you mean? Aoi takes a kitty hairpin out of her pocket. Sure enough, it looks exactly like the one I gave her. She always said she'd take good care of it. But is it really the same one? What brought this on all of a sudden? Uh, uh, I see. It's kind of hard to answer on the spot. Let's see. A joke answer comes to mind. Someone who will love me forever, I guess. Aoi blushes faintly. Let's go with that, then. She pauses, then tilts her head. Like I said, it's hard to think of anything when you put me on the spot. Like, if I ask what you want... Whoa! I recoil, but Oi clings to me anyway. She looks at me with love in her eyes. The sunset dazzles me. I feel dizzy. My brain rattles around in my head. I might lose it altogether. Her hands slide down my back. She rubs my tails. Just then, my pocket vibrates. Uh, uh, sorry. I push her away and hastily take out my phone. It's an email from Miyuki. And if I knew what it said, everything would come crashing down. Sorry, Miyuki wants to see me. Just get me whatever. Get me something you'd like. Anyway, see ya! With that, I dash down the ladder. Above me, I can hear her faintly- I can faintly hear her start transmitting. Ugh. The instant the door closes. My nausea overwhelms me. Miyuki? Miyuki must have been watching the whole thing. She gently rubs my back. <sighs> Sorry about that. Whenever she trusts me, I get so... <laughs> the memory of her smile threatens to make me puke all over again. When she puts her arms around me, it made my skin crawl. After all, I know what she did with those hands. 
She used them to touch some other guy. Thanks. Miyuki consoles me and even cleans up the mess I made. Without her, I'm pretty sure I would have completely lost my ship by now. So, I got your email. What did you want to talk about? Did you find out how she got another one of these? I pull the kitty hairpin out of my pocket. This is proof she betrayed me. And yet, she somehow has a near identical pin in her possession. That settles it. I bite back my nausea. Okay, I've made up my mind. You know that idea you had? Let's do it. I still think this must be a misunderstanding. No one has actually spoken to Aoi about this yet. <laughs> then again, she did Aoi offer to fuck Yutaro. Or Ruta Ryuta. ゲームの広いなの。中身は空っぽ。心も体も家族も友達もなかったの。でも新一はくれた。青いに全部食ったから。ありがとう。Blindfold falls from my eyes. Before me sits a candlelit cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shichi. Happy birthday to you. Shichi, oh, my dear Tom. Mata Hitotsu, Otoko Kaidan, no botana. Same as you, genius. <laughs> what do you mean? Legally obligated. Whoa, look at the size of that thing. Miyuki hands me a giant bouquet of flowers. I can smell the lilies from here. She's been putting quite a few things into place for me, but I hadn't realized she'd prepared such a thoughtful gift. This is shaping up to be one hell of a birthday party. Wrestling with my emotions, I forced myself to speak. Thanks, everyone. Aoi's hand shoots up into the air, then she dashes out into the hall. She returns, dragging a large, heavy box. Though she pulls with all her might, the box barely inches forward. <laughs> the way the box opens, spilling its contents. Yabalese? Aoi walks into the kitchen and opens the fridge. Thanks. Looks like I'll be getting plenty of vitamins from here on out. ぎゃくに体壊すわよ。お弁当作り。やめられないわね。そんな街に手作り弁当。貴様食ってるのか食ってるんだな。青いも食べてる。なななななな。なんと二色弁当。いいですね。男の路盤ですね。モテモテですね
Down to business. That's the code phrase. Yutaro tenses up. I try to keep a straight face. Stammering, Yutaro holds out his gift. A DVD? Ah, <laughs> Yutaro laughs awkwardly. Oh, he doesn't seem to notice, though. Can we see what's on it? Oh, Oh, I raises her hand to the ceiling. Why are we ambushing her like this? Whatever happened to Taki like normal human beings? Holy shit! Just then, the doorbell rings. Yutaro dashes out of the living room. Oh, did we not tell you? We invited one more person. You know how Yutaro said he got himself a girlfriend? Or so I thought anyway, so I told him to invite her and... Oh, wait, freezes, but I'm not surprised. After all, she probably recognizes that voice. Haru, Ryujiro whispers feebly. <laughs> Yutaro's brother. Miyuki's fellow thespian. And Oi Secret Paramore. The tension hangs in the air. Hmm? Oi, do you know her? Huh? That's funny. Wasn't she the one who helped you pick out Eru's milk at the corner store? This is getting more ridiculous by the moment. The five of us sit around the table and eat our cake. Oe ends up seated next to Ryujiro. Nobody says a word. Bit by bit, the cake disappears. Oe seems panicked. She keeps glancing all around the room. I can barely suppress a rush of glee. Unable to bear the tension in the room, Ryujiro stands up from his chair. We told him to rehearse this line in advance, but his voice shakes so badly I find myself wondering how he made it into theater club at all. <laughs> Ryujiro hands me a small box. Hmm. I take it without saying thank you. But I open it slowly to really make her sweat. Whoa! This is the hairpin I gave Aoi! <laughs> Aoi starts digging around in her pocket. Aoi's expression stiffens. Her eyes are wide like someone just shoved her off a cliff. This is the exact look I wanted to see on her face. But we're only just getting started. That's strange. I thought it was handmade and one of a kind. それ嘘よね。<笑> Haru-chan 
Yuki's using her friendly advice tone of voice. もう、<笑> Her voice is barely a whisper. Her lips tremble and she falls silent. Yutaro. Oh. Yutaro's gift is sitting in the disc tray. He presses the play button and the screen lights up with. <laughs> security camera footage from the corner store. The store is dimly lit and devoid of any other customers. Behind the counter, Ryujiro and Aoi share a tender embrace. Then the camera zooms in and the footage grows more distorted. It shows Ryujiro and Aoi kissing. Over and over. Apparently, I'm quite the jealous monster. As I fight the urge to smash the TV, I force myself to speak calmly. We're boyfriend and girlfriend, aren't we? So why did you kiss him? <laughs> You're my girlfriend, aren't you? You told me to believe in you, isn't that right? And you cried and everything. What was that anyway? Just an act? Shit. I tried. I really tried. I tried to accept you. I tried to trust you. But how did you feel about me? What was on your mind when you were kissing him? <laughs> Bullshit! I can't take it anymore. I throw it at her. She doesn't try to dodge. It hits her in the face and falls to her feet. What an incredible tribute. I'm impressed. You love me so much, you fuck other guys? It's the condom we found in the trash can. Found it on the day of the play when we snuck into Ryujiro's room. Everything. I knew Haru was Yutaro's brother. I knew you were alone together in that apartment. But I played dumb. All of this time, I acted like everything was fine. I held back my feelings and played the part of happy boyfriend. Being around you made me feel so sick, I threw up dozens of times. I shuddered every time you asked to have sex. But I endured it. Told myself I had to grit my teeth and bear it. All so I could shove it in your face right here, right now. My love for Aoi is gone. My rational sense is gone. All that's left is hate. And a thirst for revenge. Or so I thought. And yet, I could still feel a burning anger somewhere deep down inside. So, what were you doing? You broke off our date to go be alone with some other guy. So what the fuck were you doing? I want to believe in you. I really did. Why would you betray me like this? I asked you a question, Aoi. Say what? You and your fucking god! Before I can lash out, Ryujiro jumps in between us. So, did you fuck her? You fucked her, right? You didn't go through with it after you'd already opened a condom? <laughs> wow, that's love for you. I'm so touched I could cry. I'm not buying that bullshit. I slammed my fist down on the table, but it's funny. At this point, I can't even feel the pain. Be straight with me. You guys just fucked without it, didn't you? Uh, 
I'm gonna skip ready of that. Well, you think I could possibly believe the two of you went that far and just call it quits after opening a condom? No one in their right fucking mind would believe that. No one argues. Probably because no one can. <laughs> this is hilarious. My sides are in orbit. I'm actually crying, too. Are these tears of frustration? Or of sadness? Or maybe they're happy tears? <laughs> I'm nowhere. Aoi pulls her phone and lifts it into the air. <laughs> I snatched the phone from her. Shut up! The screen displays her mid-call to God. You cheated on me because God told you to? That's such a load of crap. I fling her phone to the ground. The screen shatters on impact. Aoi just stares down at it. There's only one thing I want from her now. I feel I should save here. Now one moment. I want her to tell the truth. Tell me the truth. Look, just be honest with me. Tell me the real reason why you cheated on me. Please, just... Help me understand. I know it's pathetic, but I'm desperate. I love her too much. I can't just shrug this off. Did she lose interest in me? Was Ryuchiro just really good in bed? I just want an explanation. I don't care what it is. I just want to understand why. Oh, he looks at me blankly the same way she used to. Oh, the lights in her eyes are gone. She mumbles quietly. On the surface, she sounds normal. But I can tell. She's utterly defeated. Guys? Miyuki falls silent, but Yutaro pipes up in her stead. I don't want to hear it. Yutaro gently puts a hand on Ryujiro's trembling shoulder. The Akebono brothers walk out of the living room. Now it's just me, Aoi, and Miyuki. The second stick by, slow and steady. Miyuki, please. I won't. Miyuki sighs heavily. I won't. Miyuki what? Miyuki leaves the room. Unfortunately, I'm in no mood to believe in eternal love. Okay, they're gone. It's just me and Oi now, alone in the living room. Her eyes are like saucers. It's like all her hopes were crushed with her cell phone. I take a deep breath to study myself. Then I move in close to Aoi. Please, tell me. Why did you betray me? Huh? Shut up! Before I can stop myself, I scream at her. I'm sick of your fucking game bullshit! Her gaze is firm. 
神様は概念的存在あらゆる世界の攻略キャラの総合体ヒロインのイデアナも葵は神様から生み出されたアバター膨大なデータベースからこの世界に最適化された形その目的はたくさんの主人公を攻略してイベント CG を回収すること君の青いルートは同時に神様の新一ルートなの新一とエッチしてもう新一ルートはコンプリート新しい CG 回収できないと葵に存在理由電池も切れて電波届かなくてセーブできないまま消えるのだから葵はハルちゃんルートに行ったのそれが新一を裏切った理由 Her expression doesn't shift an inch She rattles it all off like it's the most normal thing in the world Like she's reading from a script でももうお別れなのバイバイなの She silently turns away And then she walks off Her uncertain footsteps grow faint I don't know what to believe I couldn't possibly believe her story She refuses to accept responsibility for what she's done Instead, she puts all the blame on some imaginary god. Talking to her is just a waste of time at this point. Now I just want to erase every last trace of our life together. Thus, I head back to my bedroom to get her belongings. What are you still doing here? I thought she left the house already. Well, you don't have to. Not anymore. I slip past her to my room. I temporarily confined Eru to the second floor so Miyuki wouldn't have an allergy attack. I gently pick him up. This is where we say goodbye. Surprisingly, Eru doesn't make a sound. Aoi. You'll look after him, won't you? Mm. Aoi nods like she was prepared for this. I set Eru down. The transceiver cat looks back at me. Just once. I avert my eyes. The night air is still, yet biting cold. The sky is clear, the street lamps send Aoi's shadow stretching across the ground. The whole world is silent save for us, as though all noise has been sucked away into another dimension. Well, see ya. This is the part where I shut the door and lock the deadbolts. But right as I go to pull the door shut, Hi. Aoi raises her hand into the air. Her gaze is blank as always. I get the sense she isn't really looking at me. しんいち、葵の Her words feel like some sort of curse. I'm not a character in a video game. I can't just reset my memories and start again. She's not looking at you, Shinichi. But before my swelling emotions can take shape, I shut the door. It's over. I don't have to agonize over my girlfriend's betrayal anymore. I got my revenge. I'm satisfied. At last, it's all over. Everything. I stumble back into the house on shaky legs. Shichi. Miyuki? I didn't realize you were still here. I thought the living room was empty. And yet, there she is, waiting for me. I don't trust you. Ah. <sighs> It hurts so much. There's no way I could feel remotely good about any of this. It was the only choice I had. Things were never going to turn out any differently. 
Right, Miyuki? Please tell me I'm right. What? Uh... Her whisper drowns out all the misery. Her voice gently seeps into my brain, and my mind goes blank. Her hair brushes against me. She wraps me up in her soft arms. I can smell her scent. Right now, I just want to stay here in this embrace and forget everything. Forever and ever and ever. Uh. Uh. Uh, I, I need an adult. I, I mean, I'm an adult, but I need, a, I need an adult here, adults, please. Please. Uh, I'm gonna cut it here for now, though. I need to collect myself. Maybe it's creeping me out a bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Goodbye for now. Later.